Hello, welcome to this tutorial from Roland DG on how to use the custom cut feature within Roland Verseworks. This is a feature that's built in to help you maintain print and cut accuracy over long distances. So if we open up Roland Verseworks and bring in a job, here I have the Roland DG Academy logo with a cut line around the edge. If we open the job settings and under the layout tab here we can make our changes. So, first of all, I'm going to hit the amount of copies that I wish to have. For this example, I'm going to enter 50. What we would then do is hit the Get Media Width button, which would send a message to the machine to read the media width. Uh, I'm not actually connected at the moment, so I'm just going to manually enter a width here. I'm going to say 1,500 mil. That will change the preview accordingly, and now we have the final layout of our 50 selected jobs. What would normally happen now in the print process is that the printer would print these 50 jobs and then wind back in the media and start cutting from the first one. So the chance of the first job here and the last job here having exactly the same accuracy over four and a half meters will, de well, will decrease with increased length. So we're going to try and split the page into smaller sections with a certain amount of jobs onto each page. So in order to do that we're going to copy the media width that we have either read or manually input. Copy. You can either remember this or write it down. We're then going to change the size under the media settings to custom cut. And What we'll see is that the preview has reverted back to the original media width. So here we're now going to paste in the actual media width which we read from the machine earlier or manually input as I did. Next we're going to choose the height of the sections, these page break sections that we're going to enter. So for this example I'm going to go for three uh, rows in depth for the page size of my custom cut. So if I just open up the calculator here, what I can do is look at the height of that image, which is 271.27 millimeters. So if we put in, so let's say 272 mil, and I'm going to times that by three to get me the height of these three images. Just have to take into consideration that there's a four mil tile spacing there as well. So let's add eight to that number as well, and we've got We'll call it 825 millimeters. So under the height of my custom cut, I'm going to enter here 825. And what we'll see in the preview here is that it's added a page break after three rows of the image. So if I just zoom out here, what we can see is that after every three rows, it's added a page break and we can calculate where we want those page breaks using the height here. So what this is what this means is that your printer will print nine of these images and then cut nine of the images. Then it will move on to the next set and print and cut nine and then move on to the next set. What this will also do is it'll allow you to chop off any of the finished print and cut images so that you could go and prep those whilst the other sets are still printing and cutting. And that's it on how to use the custom cut feature. Thank you.